Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now in this video I'm going to talk about why you need a website and especially if you are in tech or if you're doing self-hosting. Websites are a fantastic way to start with your little tech career or you know if you're just starting out in tech or if you're just trying to figure out how you get started with self-hosting. A website is awesome for all of these areas and let me explain why. So first off if you are just getting into tech as a student when i was studying a website was pretty much the key point of hey when you're learning something or you're taught something during a lesson you would then go back and you would blog about it now blogging not only helps you know your tutor or whoever you're writing about know that hey look they've completed what they needed to blog about but it cements the knowledge that you've just learnt um a lot better and it's kind of the equivalent of having a journal right you you note some things down or if you've got a notepad or whatever as soon as you're writing or typing things down it kind of just sticks in your head a lot better and if you can blog about something you genuinely understand it and if you don't understand something then you know it's it's quite obvious when you're writing about it it's, it's very hard to write about something you don't know much about hence why blogging about what you learn is a fantastic way um, of cementing that knowledge so as a pure example this is my website right and i just post about a lot of the things i learn that i think will be helpful for others but the main concept of my website is i'm learning as i go right so for example uh what's a good one the setting up wireguard i was playing around with setting up a wireguard vpn right and what happens was if um when i when i i deployed it I write about it. I go, hey, look, you know, this is how I did it. And these are what I thought are the advantages of using it. And, you know, I post my video about it and I just kind of break it down and I just talk about how I went about it. Now, this is useful for other people, but it's also, again, very useful for myself. I get to just, this is my little slice of the internet. I get to come in here, talk about my learnings and I can come back to it as well. Oh, I remember I set up WireGuard a few months back. How did I do X, Y, Z? I can come back to it. And especially with me doing videos as well, it's a, another source of just me um, isolating my knowledge, right? So these are, uh, a website is a fantastic point um, for just documenting your knowledge and then sharing it with others on LinkedIn. And then, you know, if you're trying to get a job in tech, recruiters will be like, oh man, that guy's doing some cool stuff you know he, he really knows or it's your way to back up hey look these this is what i've been doing for the last xyz and they you they can see what you've been up to and as soon as you have something like this trust me you're ahead of a lot of other people that just you know they, they just do it um but you've got proof of you doing it um so yeah this is why i would suggest a website is fantastic now when it comes to websites Again, self-hosting them is awesome because you're not only learning about, you know, hey, uh, this right here in front of us at the moment is um, I'm hosting this on Ghost. So a Ghost is um, like a blogging platform that I use and it's similar to like WordPress and stuff like that. So this is all just running on um, my web server right now. So let me show you. So uh, this is my web server. And if I do uh, an LS and we're we'll into Docker and do an LS, change into TikTok's blog and they... Alice. So you can see that my entire website is just created from a Docker Compose file. And then if I do a Docker PS um, and we will grip this. And you can see here that we have my blog up and running. My blog also has a database. Uh, if I just do DB, we should probably find it. Yeah. So you can see here that I'm hosting two containers, right? Which I have to maintain and manage. So I've got my front end, which is the, the blog. And then I've also got a database, which is my SQL. So when you're hosting something like this, uh, just a simple thing as a website, what have you learned already? You've learned Docker, right? You, you're familiar with deploying something via uh, containers via Docker. Now you're also getting familiar with looking after and making and, and maintaining a web application, right? So you've got, uh, in this case, I've got Ghost, which is my blogging platform. I've also got my database, right? Just from a simple website, you're now going, cool, uh, how do I maintain this website? How do I maintain this database? Backups, how do I restore it? You have now all of a sudden got a massive area of knowledge that you can learn from. And then while you're doing this, what can you be doing? blogging about it now you've got all these blog posts you know how i uh self-host my website how i back up my website how do i restore my website 
this is all stuff you can blog about and it's very valid experience as well just by having a website now there is plenty of websites that you can choose from um ways that you can go about self-hosting a website and let me show you so this is one of my favorite sites. So this is awesome self-hosted. And if you're ever curious on just some stuff that you want to self-host in terms of platforms, um, you can see they have a category all on the left-hand side here. Your database management, conference management, e-commerce, feed readers, file transfers, games, the list goes on. And they will give you ways to be able to go about self-hosting all of this. Now I'm under the blogging platforms at the moment. So you know, you're wanting to self-host a website, come here and there's so many different things that you can choose from. Anvil, something just called blog, and apparently it's a Facebook style blog that you can do. Um, there's a whole bunch, and I'm pretty sure if we come down a bit, there's Ghost here, right? This is what I use. Um, there's a whole bunch, I don't even know these ones, there's so many out there that you can also play around with. Um, so if we were to just choose one um so ghost is one that i'm familiar with so if we click on here you can click on the source code and this will take you to like their github page and then straight away from here you can have a look and see what's going on get an idea of you know how it works how to go about installing it and then they'll also give you a uh, there's also always a docker version of it right so you can see here they've got you know ways that you can go about doing it but if you're ever curious about how you would do this um, on Docker, and if, if it's not immediately obvious, you can always just type in ghost blog docker compose. Hit enter. And here's the official Docker Hub ghost. We'll come down and wait for that to load. I'll zoom in a little bit for you. Scroll down. And you can see already some commands, how to run it. And there's our uh, Docker uh, command for creating volumes. If we come down a little bit more, you can see here's a Docker Compose example. This is how we, you can learn, play around with getting your Ghost stood up and you can see you've got the Ghost front end container and a database. It's all learning, right? <laughs> it's, all, it's all ways that you can just play around. Oh, uh, what about WordPress, right? Oh, if you wanna learn how to self-host WordPress, cool. Type in WordPress at the top of Docker Hub. Click on the official one. Again, we'll scroll down, have a look. Oh, yep, yeah, here's the initial way uh, of running a Docker command, self-host WordPress. Here's our compose file again. Honestly, and then it's a matter of just copying this, filling in the blanks, deploying it, and just having a play around. Now you get to learn, how do I maintain this? How, you know, how do I back it up? All these cool things. It's this easy to get into um, hosting a website, but with that comes so much more knowledge. It's not just self-hosting a website you're learning about Docker and you're learning about, you know, the crucial industry standards of backing up things, you know, because that's stuff people will ask you about and it's something that comes up so much. And if you just have knowledge and just understanding of why those things are important, you, you, you'll make a really good impression uh, coming into the, the tech industry, right? Now, I know this wasn't a crazy video of me deploying stuff and showing that, but the whole reason I have this YouTube channel is I really want to help other people as well. So that's what this video is pretty much for. For those ones that are just wondering how to get started, how do they start building up their skill base? You start with a website, trust me. You deploy that website, break it, it fails, why did it fail? Why can't I back it up? How do I restore it? You know, how do you do all these things? You get so much experience just from self-hosting a website. So that's my recommendation. Um, and please, yeah, if, if you do go ahead, I've got web, I've got videos on self-hosting WordPress, uh, self-hosting Ghost. So check those out if you're curious. But if you ever get stuck, join my Discord or ask in the comments below and I will help you out with any issues that you have. And remember, YouTube members get one-on-one -on -one support with me. Uh, so if you do require that extra assistance, I've got you. Um, but yeah, that's, that's it for this video. Very nice and easy, just a general chit chat on why having a website is very important with getting started um, and learning uh, self-hosting and everything that comes along with it. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.